Hey everybody, Kim here with Little Biz Resources, and today we're going to talk about offering funnel design services, and we'll mention how you can get started in 24 hours or less. So this is part of our multi-part series. This is the sixth video. The first video covered the nine services as an overview. If you haven't seen that, I do recommend you watch that. The second video was ideas for reaching out to find customers or clients in general. I would also recommend you watch that. And then the third through 11th videos cover the different services mentioned in that first video. Now, all these videos are meant to help you get started if you want to offer different services. There are links for additional resources in each of the video descriptions on YouTube, or you can see all the videos and more at littlebizresources.com slash nine services. So service four, funnel designer. So some considerations. The purpose of this video is to give you a better idea of the service. We're not gonna be talking in depth about the service itself, right? That's what the whole resources are for. But it's gonna give you some ideas on how you can promote the service. I'm gonna talk about different resources you can utilize to help speed up the process of offering funnel design services. And if you choose to use those recommendations, each resource will have its own specific training to help you on your journey. Okay, so we're not gonna talk about specific software programs or anything to uh, in this one. So what are funnel services? We do need to kind of do an overview of this real quick. So funnel design is the process of building the pages that offer various products or services in a series. Each page in the series takes the viewer to the next step. They make a purchase, they opt in or otherwise do something on page one, then they go to page two, then to page three, etc. For marketing, the ultimate goal is to end in a sale and or increase sales. And that's even if you're saying, hey, I know people who want lead generation funnels. That's okay. Their ultimate goal is to end in a sale, right? So everything in that process has the intent to lead them to the, through the steps from interest to purchase. So what is the purpose of funnels? Of course, funnels help increase lead sales and brand recognition. Different funnels with different purposes. And I say that loosely, you can take a lot of different funnels and turn them into, um, you could take the same funnel and turn it into different purposes just because of the way you angle it. So don't take that as there's like a billion funnels or anything. If you're completely new to funnels, I recommend you review the training, the free training linked in the description. It's free, completely free. Take a look at that and it'll help you understand funnels a little bit better if you're new. When you create a funnel for a client, you help them increase their leads, their sales, or their brand recognition. So leads example, and these are again, just examples. You can do this a lot of different ways, but there's, let's say you have a free opt-in for something. They opt in to, I don't know, get, get a free ebook. <laughs> like we talked about last time, right? Then you're going to capture on the page. Of course you would capture the emails and pixel data. You should be capturing pixel data as well. And then you, it leads to whatever the next step is, whatever the leads for, right? Maybe it's to offer, um, the visitor consultation, to schedule an appointment. They maybe it enters them into a sales funnel, whatever it is. You can then that's the the front end part. It's called the a lead funnel because you're capturing a lead at the very beginning, and then you can of course lead them into something else like a sales funnel. So now a sales example it starts with some sort of sale, right? So you're gonna offer something for sale on the first one, and then you continue to offer upsells and or cross sells. This is extremely common in e-commerce and successful e-commerce. And you'll see even Amazon is doing this now, right? They've been doing it for a while now where once you go into the cart, oh, you did you forget these things? Oh, by the way, these are complimentary. Other people are buying this, right? So they're constantly trying to offer you more items. And so this is extremely common in sales. You'll see this if you are familiar with buying products from affiliates. They typically go through um, a pro a process of, okay, buy the first one. Okay, here's an upsell. Here's an upsell. Here's an upsell. Right. And then sometimes that goes on forever. Then there's like something more like a brand funnel would be some, maybe a quiz. So it would be called a quiz funnel and you can use a quiz funnel to lead into anything. But in this case, we're going to give you an example for a brand for like, um, brand recognition, right? So you'd have a quiz about a problem. Ideally, if the problem is something the company solves, you know, so you might say something like you might have a quiz, take this quiz and find out if you have sleep apnea. Right. And then it, and then when they're done with the quiz, you, it can say, yeah, you have symptoms of sleep apnea. You need to talk to one of our experts. And that goes to your client, right? Your client is, um, some sort of pulmonologist or specialist in sleep apnea. So obviously you'd be increasing brand awareness, but then that might also go into like a lead capture as well. So quizzes are really good for all types of funnels, 
But in this case, I was just using it to show a, a brand recognition where you're saying, hey, you know, what do you like? What do you like better? And let's say you're talking about shoes, right? You get, take this quiz and see what, what shoe best fits you. And then at the end, oh, look at this brand has all these different types of shoes and it's perfect for you, right? So you, you have a problem. I don't know that finding out what kind of shoe you like is a problem, but let's say you have a problem and then you have a solution and that solution is the brand that's increasing brand awareness. And then of course you can also do things like capture leads from there. So how to create funnels fast. So back in the day, it would take tens of thousands of dollars in software and coding experts to create a funnel. In fact, there are still companies that claim it does, but it doesn't right today. You can use software to create a funnel. I'll provide a link to different software in the description for you to review. That's because I want you to see the different types. I don't want you to get stuck with one and then say, oh, well, this is the one that has to be. Because I found that for me, it depends on the type of business on which one works best. So I provided a link to the different software in the description, and you can take a look at those and see which one. Each of the ones that I link to, so if you're like, hey, I know about this software and it's not on there, it's probably because it's not one that reaches that you can learn within 24 hours or less. Right, so all of the ones I have linked let you basically follow the software and you can literally get started super fast. Right, so there's like ClickFunnels and Convertry and then um, FunnelMates. And then there's another one that has a program that's super fast, but you need to watch the, the training on it to see what it's about. But it's really cool. I like that one too. So obviously all of these I, I use and have used for a while and I like them for different reasons. But to speed up the process, you can use one of the templates built into the program. If you don't, if you want to take a lot less than 24 hours, just start with the templates that are in there and just tweak them. It's really, really fast. So what types of customers want funnels, right? So, I mean, realistically, every business needs a funnel and, and really every business has a funnel, just whether it's good or not, because, you know, if you walk into a store and, uh, you know, I'll give you an example. If I, if you walk into Walmart and there's somebody packing stuff on the shelves and you're looking for something and you say, Hey, I'm looking for this bread. That person has the opportunity to go, Oh, here's the bread. Oh, and by the way, we also have this, I don't know, interesting butter that's out or something. I don't know, whatever you want to put on it. So they're, they have the opportunity, but they're not very good at it when you walk into Walmart, right? Or, well, we have a Ridley's next to us where you can't even talk to the employees. They just kind of ignore you. And I go, okay, so there's opportunities there where there's those funnels, where they're not online funnels, they're still funnels. It's an opportunity to increase sales and to increase the, the, the amount that the people are purchasing, but they're not doing it very good. The same thing happens online. And I'll give you a good example of this. If, and this is one you can reach out to companies with, right? If you are working with a local business and you call them during business hours and it goes to a voicemail that says, leave a voicemail, they don't have a good funnel. One, because they don't have somebody answering the phone. And two, because if you're just leaving a voicemail, people aren't going to do it. So instead they need to take action. So you can even have it so that it goes into an electronic where it, it um, takes them through a funnel. So I just you just need to think about the different ways where it's getting stopped, where the, the purpose of the, the person trying to get to their end point is if it's broken somewhere along that line, or if it's not very effective, that is an opportunity to fix their funnel. So despite there being a ton of businesses that have broken funnels, funnels really are finally catching on as a necessity for businesses. Now they call them different things. And I'll tell you, there are people, marketers on there that are just, changing the words and it's still a funnel, right? It's still a funnel. And I get that they want to make it their own or whatever, but ultimately it's the same thing. It's the same sales methods. It's the same strategies. Now this is good news because it makes it an easier sell, right? When you come up to a company, oh, hey, yeah, your, your funnel's kind of broken here and you can show them it's broken and then offer them the opportunity to fix it. That's going to be a huge benefit to them. So for funnel services, you should target businesses that are familiar with paying for leads. And I say this because in some, there are some industries that aren't used to paying for leads. And when they're not used to paying for leads, if you come up and say, Hey, I'm going to build you a funnel, they're going to go, okay, I don't understand. And I don't see why I would have to pay for that. Right. They would always do it myself. That's that there's industries like that. So, and, and honestly, there's businesses in every industry like that too. So you just have to kind of start narrowing it down to which industries pay for leads. And that's dentists, lawyers, chiropractors, et cetera. I recommend you check home advisor and look at the different types on there 
Because these are businesses that are paying for leads. They're paying for somebody who comes onto the Home Advisor site and submits their information. We used to do that for our business, our local business, and it was expensive. It was very expensive. If somebody came to me and said, hey, I can get you leads for a quarter of the price, I would have done it because the leads from them were, were horrible. You know, we would have one out of 10 that would turn into an actual prospect and they weren't our leads only. So offering funnel services to a company who's paying for leads is like a no brainer. It's like, oh, you're paying for leads. Don't you want to generate your own leads? So you don't have to compete. You don't have to pay for the lead when somebody else got it, right? That's what happens on HomeAdvisor. A lot of people don't realize that, but when you are a business and you are on HomeAdvisor, if it, if that lead goes to 10 people, you're competing with nine other businesses, right? And they may have a cap on how many they send it to, but still, you're still competing. If you're not the first one to call or you don't call at the right time, you're losing your money on that lead because you never even got a chance to reach out to them, to, to connect with them, right? We had that so many times where we would try to call and we would just have to leave message after message after message and we never got through to them. So if we don't have to pay $100 a lead and we can instead pay $10 a lead, we're going to be making more money in the, once a lead converts. And on top of that, these are our leads. And so we're the only ones cultivating them. So um, check Home Advisor, and that'll give you a good start on what businesses are paying for leads or what business types are, are paying for leads. So a funnel has the purpose of increasing the value of an incoming visitor. The need is going to depend on the business. So as an example, a dentist needs people to sign up for their services, right? And theoretically, I'm going to tell you this as well. If the dentist is good, once they get somebody in, that could be a long-term value for them, right? So it's, you can't guarantee anything. They should know the value of their, what their average value is for their client coming in. And then they should know, okay, that's realistically, you know, how much we can pay and everything else. So they're going to understand that, Hey, a lead to them is a huge value, right? This is the dentist industry is really hard to get into because they have like huge, huge businesses attacking them. But, um, I say attacking them, offering their services to them, but they have, they get hassled a lot. I think I was in a dentist's office once and I had like, there were like three different people in there trying to offer services to them. And it was funny. It was cracking me up. So, um, yeah, so let's say, they, so a dentist needs somebody to sign up for their services. A simple lead generation funnel might be an offer for a free assessment, free cleaning, whatever. And they just need you to capture the leads because they will upsell once the person is in the office. So you get somebody to come in for free. And once they're in there, they're going to tell them, oh, you have a cavity. You need to pay for that. Oh, you, you want teeth whitening services. Oh, you need to pay for that. And so that's, they, a lot of them just need you to get them through the door and that is schedule the appointment, right? So capture the email, schedule the appointment. And so that's a simple funnel for a dentist. Now in comparison, a roofing company may want someone to schedule an assessment. And then because there's, you're sending somebody out there to go to, to go see them anyway, they might be like, Hey, so while you're out there, do you want us to go ahead and offer, you know, offer them a discounted gutter cleaning? So, hey, while we've got somebody out there, we'll give you 50% off our gutter cleaning service if you schedule it right now at the same time, right? So that's that's a different type of, even though that's still a lead generation thing, that's also offers an upsell. And I would say the dentist could do the same thing as well. Hey, you know what? what since you're going to be in here, why don't you go ahead and schedule a teeth whitening service as well and we'll knock off, you know, 50% or whatever it is whatever they decide is a, a value they can afford and giving them that deep value for that is going to, is going to give them that connection of, Oh, Hey, I got a really great value from this business. I'm going to keep, I'm going to follow up with them and keep going to them because I feel like I'm getting the value. Now, how do I find businesses that need funnel services or funnel design services? Now this really does make a great add on to other services. And we'll talk about that in a minute. But if you want to sell this as a standalone service, you can reach out to other businesses and your strategy is B2B, business to business marketing, and let them know how you can help. Watch the video on three methods to find prospects and leads that's in this series. That's video number two, I believe. And I'll also have a link in the description or there should be some sort of card up at the top where you can click that little, little thing at the top where you can click and go watch that if you want to. Then get listed on Fiverr and other service marketplaces. If you're going to offer this as a service, you're going to have to branch into getting found. It's highly competitive on these service marketplaces, but at least if you're there, then you have a chance of, of generating some leads that way. You can create an ebook or report to help other business owners understand the value of funnels. Of course, last time we did a training on ebooks and reports and the value of that. You can use the same thing to offer your services. So if you want to watch that video, that's before 
then this one and then you need to watch the training the free training on funnel services in the description that'll give you some really good ideas of what to put in the ebook okay then you can start your own funnel for generating leads and use it as a case study to share with clients so oh hey yeah look this is what i did and this is how i was able to do it this is what i would recommend so i think that's the hardest part for companies is that they really want somebody who's going to come in and tell them what to do and get success for them and when you're first starting out that's really difficult you may know what they need but you don't know if it's going to generate success or not and until you start doing it more and more it's going to be one of those where you're like, uh, I'm either going to be in that gray area of making promises I may not be able to keep, or I'm going to just not make any promises and then have less people sign up. It just kind of depends. And you may end up having to do it for free for some people just to kind of get them to be able to be like testimonials for you and to get that experience. You can also utilize something, we, Funnel Mates, which is a funnel building software that I've included, but that one also taps you into an affiliate market base where if there's an affiliate on there, let's say you're promoting a free ebook and it leads to something and they can make some money from it, then you can, it doesn't have to lead to your client, right? You're just, you're generating leads in that particular industry, but it could, it could lead to your client. You could have them start an affiliate program and have people sign up as affiliates and, you know, run them through funnel mates and make them a ton of money. You can even offer that as an entire service. So check those out, see if they'll work for your needs. So what other services can you offer? So while you can offer this as a standalone, I haven't changed that, standalone service, you may want to offer it as a bundle or extra with something else. Okay, so potential services to offer separate or as a bundle, copywriting services. This is a big one, especially for funnels, right? I mentioned this almost in almost every one copywriting services, which we're going to be talking about next time. But if you can offer a full service funnel, so funnel services in and of itself are just like, okay, you give me what you want me to put on the funnel, right? A lot of people, they don't know what to put in there. So they just guess and it ends up being horrible. And then they don't, they don't keep your services because it didn't work, right? If you can do funnel services, that is going to be a much better, like a full service funnel, funnel service. It's gonna be a much better offer than somebody who's just like, oh yeah, I'll put the pages together for you, right? Which you can do. And there's people that need that. But this is where you're saying, hey, I'm also going to do the copy. I'm going to do a, a great headline for you, or I'm going to do, you know, something else. And so we'll talk about copywriting services in the next one or copywriter services in the next one. And then where you write the copy, then ebook or report creation. I kind of mentioned this already, but you know, there are a lot of companies that are going to need a variety of options to test what is best to bring clients in. But you can offer an ebook or a report. You say, hey, I'll go ahead and, and add this in. You can bundle it. You can say, look, this is part of our services. So, you know, you we need to make sure that you have something to offer in, in the funnel. So here we, we've included a, an ebook creation as well, or three ebooks that you can get or whatever it is. You know, over the next six months, we'll create three ebooks for you. You, know, you have to decide what kind of works for you. But putting that value in will be able to help you increase that price too. Then email marketing, this is, if, if it's lead generation and they don't have emails, if it's an email lead gen, I should say, and they don't have email follow-up, you definitely need to be saying, look, you need to have an email marketing system and plan. And that's a service that we'll talk about as well. So video creation, again, this one you can do as an upsell, you can offer it as an upsell to them or a bonus or an additional opt-in. You can have it be something in their funnel. Right. You can say, look, we're going to create this video so you can offer it as an upsell to this. Oh, yeah, they're going to buy. They're going to get this free ebook on how to clean gutters. Oh, look, buy this. Um, oh, look, we have an upsell that gives you step by step video instructions on how to do this. And it's, you know, only twenty seven dollars or something. Right. And so they have these things that they can offer because they have that expertise. And then when they are like, oh, hey, while you're in there, so in their video, they might go, well, while you're up there looking, check for these signs that you need a roofer to come out and you know repair things and so maybe that's part of the service you know then that's the service that they offer so oh and hey you don't want to do this yourself okay now that you've watched the video then call us instead and we'll give you 27 dollars off you know we'll, we'll put this as a as a payment towards your your the service right so there's a lot of different ways that you can add that video creation in there to help and add in your funnel as an upsell or as a bonus for people or whatever where they can either make your client can make money off of it or where um you know, they can make money off of selling the video or where they can just use it to help supplement what they're providing. 
right? So there's, there's a lot of different variation that you can do with video creation. Then I added in app design and hosting. And the reason why is because a lot of clients that I, I found, they tend to have their website locked out by their web designer. So when they're talking to you and they're like, oh, hey, yeah, I want you to do this funnel for me. You could, oh, we could always shift instead of doing, you can create it in something like an app, or you could do something where you drive them to an app after the fact and have a download on their phone and say, Hey, look at weekly tips on whatever it is or, or something, right? You just have to decide if that works for a client or not, but you can offer that. And that was service one we talked about, and that gives them an extra way to reach their visitors that come to their site. So to follow up with them, to offer specials, etc. So check out service one if you haven't seen that already and you think might be interested in offering that. All right, next steps. The next video in this series will look at copywriter services. And again, copywriting, copywriter is the same thing, but a lot of people think that copywriting is like copywriting of, you know, content. And it's, that's, it's writing. We're going to be writing the copy. So this is where we are putting the, the words on the page that need to be there. There are links to the resources of everything we talked about in the description. And if you haven't already taken a look at it, check out my ebook, $10,000 a month with only 10 sales. And if you like this video, please hit the like button and help the video spread to more people. If you have questions, you want to engage with other people, join the Facebook group. You can come live on Thursdays and ask questions and all the links are in the description. So thank you for watching.